Barakta Yahweh, Barakta Yahweh Shai, Barakta Yahweh, Barakta Yahweh Shai, Barakta Yahweh, Barakta Yahweh Shai. Kal Halal Yom La Yahweh Bahasham Shal Yahweh Shai Bahasham Raka Kedash, which is ancient Pilu Hebrew for Bless Yahweh, the Heavenly Father's only Hebrew name, who the world is known calls Jah, Jehovah, etc. Barakta Yahweh Shai, which is Bless Yahweh Shai, His Son's only. Hebrew name, who the word Enu calls Jesus, Yeshua, etc. What I said, what I said in the ancient Hebrew language was all praises to Yah, to Yahweh in the name of Yahweh Shai, in the Holy Spirit, which is the these holy scriptures, the wisdom on the sound of it. All right. Um, double honors to the apostles and elders of great wisdom and salutation to the sincere Akim is pushing truth to these holy scriptures, edify the elect. All right, peace and blessings. All right, I want to get into a lesson two of uh, you know this work and the standards, the quality and the effort that we put into this work. Right, this work meaning teaching Israel and prophesying and, and enduring. All right, all right. Um, and, you know, we got to get a certain pride, a certain standard, because we as Israel, Scripture says, Yahweh I said that we are the salt of the earth, we are the light, right? And being, being salt and light, we got to have flavor, you know, the wicked of Israel, you know, when, when they do things, Michael Jackson, Mike Tyson, you know, those that create certain inventions like the fire escape and the motor or whatnot, um, you know, they put a lot of thought and effort into it, all right? And if you're hearing music in the background, it's like it's just a, a pagan celebration and the Spirit got on me to do a lesson and you know, I'm going to put it out regardless, like it for music in the background, right? You know, they're playing some Benji, Benji music in the background, Benjamite from the tribe of um, Slaki from predominantly in, in Jamaica or in Caribbean, throughout the Caribbean. Um, yeah, so back to what I was saying, um, you know, we got to get a certain standard, a certain level of, of dignity and, and understanding of the work that we do, who we're working for, it's not just some regular ass man, because this is the most powerful being, and this is a cut to me, because, you know, I under we understand that we can go off, most of us understand that we can go off, but we hate it. We hate it when we're not doing videos and we're just slacking and whatnot. It's like it's, it's burning you to just keep pushing. Like the other day, like the spirit just got on me. So like, you know, I just can't consume myself in sub, fully submerge yourself in this word, you know, because this flesh, this flesh is weak. We can't do it, you know. We can't just engulf them. You know, I'm still learning the balance. You know, tinkering on both sides every now and then, but you know, stick keeping my eyes on the price because you know we know who we are, so we know what we want. All right, we know who we are, so we know what we want. Um, and that's another lesson I'm working on as well through spirit. But um, you know, spirit even got to me this week to learn the word work. You know, mala malaka, Hebrew word work malaka, and when we had classes today, and we had classes Wednesday, it's like, you know, we went through some precepts and you know, we came across a few and, you know, Spirit guided me to put together this lesson. And it says, uh, this is Sirach chapter 33 and verse 22, it's like if I've been rambling, right? In all thy works, keep to thyself the preeminence, leave not a stain in thine honor. It says, in all thy works, keep to thyself the preeminence. Remember who you are, remember what you do. Take pride in your work. Remember what you're working towards. All right, we're working towards a crown of last life, pleasing Yahweh Bashem Yahweh So leave not a stain in thine honor. Don't don't let it be blemished with with, with procrastination or or mediocrity or, or or not in depth, not too deep, but you know, reverence Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Know who you're working on because we when we do these videos, we're presenting it to the elect and we're presenting it to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh as well. You know, 
So it says in all thy work, keep to thyself, thy, th thyself the preeminence. So we're going to go into that word preeminence. It says, uh, it says it's an adject adjective um, exceeding others in quality or rank of outstanding excellence, extremely notable and important. So we're going to so the elect Jafar four thousand is going to exceed others in quality and rank when it comes to the quality of knowing what we are created for, wisdom and, and power and glory. Right? And and it will come with sacrifice. It will come with sacrifice. Right? The sacrifice of Letting go, letting go things, all sorts of things, man. And I want to see, um, you know, Tawadi Haubashi, you know, Shai, for calling, calling us, you know, to do this, this honorable, preeminent work, you know. It's burning, it's burning, you know, it's burning. All right, um, uh, okay, let me check this word in the Hebrew, Salakia. Up up here a moment ago. All right, let me just type it in here. I believe it's in, in Hebrew and in Greek. In, in, in. So it's Ecclesiastes 3 and 19. Let me close this. Alright, let's see. Preeminence. That is H4195. 195. And that's mawatar, mawatar, preeminence, abundance, profit, superiority, plenty, preeminence, superiority. All right. Literally gain, plenteousness, preeminence, profit. All right. So let's. Get it in the New Testament. I believe it's in the New Testament. I just want to check the Greek. Yes, Colossians 1 and 18. Alright, and it goes. Let's see that's G4409 and that's proteuo proteuo it says to be first hold the first place all right to be first in rank influence have the preeminence right and this verse is talking about uh, how uh, the other one was talking about man and animal that would have no preeminence you know, so because we both die and so forth um so let's get our next precept that would be Ecclesiastes 9 and 10. It says, um, Whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, do it with thy might. But there is no work, nor evidence, nor knowledge, nor wisdom in the grave whither thou goest. It's like, yeah. All right. There is none of that in the grave. So, in other words, you can't do it last minute, you gotta do it in a timely timely fashion. You know, the scripture says that there's a time and a place, there's a time and a purpose for everything in Ecclesiastes, right? So, 
So first thing first, you know, do it with the highest ranking, do the work with the highest ranking, and you do it with your might, you know, because when when you're dead and gone, you're dead and gone. That's it. All right. Let's get our next precept, and we'll close off with this one. You know. Slack, yeah. So, and I love this precept. You know, I got a scripture in Thessalonians, with Second Thessalonians, two and three, or two and ten, that says, now, "Who doesn't work doesn't eat." All right. So among so so, even though you know, we're gonna receive reward for the works we do. You know, the time that we're doing it, we should take great pride in it, as in thinking about how how it pleases our master, how it pleases our, our king, how it pleases our creator, of the works that we do. So this is our First Corinthians 10 and 31. It says, it says, Whether therefore ye eat or drink, or whatsoever ye do, do all to the glory of the Most High, Yahweh Bashim. And this, you know, I brought a lesson with this precept before, but you know, as we read these scriptures over and over, the, the depths of it, as as why is widening, widening. The scripture says it sounds are uh, uh, through Dab through through uh, Malak Dawada, King David. Um, it says thy precept is thy precept is ex exceedingly broad. It's roughly paraphrasing, right? So that's why it says that there's no, there's no, there's no limit as how far we can go, all right? So that's why it says whether you eat or drink or whatsoever you do, do all to the glory of your house. So you gotta watch the things we eat, things we say, things we think, things we, everything. We trying to, we're trying to be in perfect in sync with your house, and your shine. But we gotta understand that we that we will fall. We fall so that we can learn humility and submit ourselves to even more to grow. You know, and um, so we just gotta continue this work to endure to the end, pushing. You know, moving forward bit by bit. You know, shall shall we shamar mawa. Laka, which is keep working. La kwataza to the end, if I'm not mistaken, right? So, um, yeah. So I'm working on my Hebrew, as you heard. You know. So with that, I pray that this lessons will be fine. I want to give all praise to Yahweh Bahashem Yahushai Bahal Kakodash, the double honesty of fossils and also breaking stone. Shalom, Akia, Rakatam.